Okay, guys, we're here today with Craig Jones. Huge honor for me, Placido. And guys, Craig just shot an entire structure all about leg attacks and heel hook escapes for no gi. So today he's gonna show us here one of his favorite moves, which is a grip right over Craig, where he, where in the 50-50, he sets up one grip that there is no leg attacks from there. So I have never seen that. I'm super excited to see and to learn from Craig again. So. All right, guys, so we're going to obviously cover some heel hook defense. Good time to cover heel hook defense, given that the IBJJF has legalized all leg attacks. So 50-50 is a very common position for people to be digging for heel hooks these days. So we're going to talk about a position where we can basically neutralize all of their attacks while also getting back to our feet. Oh, shit. So obviously 50-50, we're at a, a great threat again. Uh, he'll hook to you, especially if they get inside knee position and start attacking us, right? And a lot of us, if we get into this position, we want to get back to our feet, escape, and start working some passing, right? So when we come up, we have to be very careful coming up with a straight leg because Placido could turn this into a knee bar or he could roll all the way through and start exposing a backside position to attack on my heel. One of the strongest grips you can take from here to prevent yourself being heel hooked or any sort of leg attack would be to take a tight waist grip on their far hip. So if we spin this way. So obviously if I didn't have this grip, just as we demonstrated before, Placido can start to apply knee bar pressure or he can turn all the way through and start exposing heel hooks. So again, getting up from 50-50 is one of the riskiest times in this position. But if we take our inside hand, we scoot through, we cup the far hip, now Placido tries to move his hips in any direction. Very difficult, he can't apply knee bar pressure. He can't win the inside knee position to expose my heel. And we can actually start working back to our feet. So I can start climbing for height. You're gonna see Placido cannot attack me at any point throughout this exchange. No, that's amazing, Craig. We can start lifting, we can do a pass off, we can walk our other leg underneath and start clearing the position. Got it. So Craig, can you use this kind of like to save time when you are on top, because at some point you're gonna need to let the hip go to do something, right? For sure, yeah. So you, you use that to save you time until you go to the next move? Exactly, yeah. So I'll use it to stifle movement, especially against dangerous Got dangerous it. players. Oh, it's amazing. We can sort of have a pit stop there, relax, assess what they're looking to do and next. Then see. Man, that's amazing. So just controlling the hip, you kill all the attacks that they can. Yeah, we basically close his movement off. We've got control over either side of the hip and he has equal threats. Again, he has, we have danger if he attains inside knee position, he can get a very deep heel hook. And if I start to come up and he gets exposure in the other direction, we're in a lot of danger as well. You got it. But we can neutralize both of those movements by digging through and securing the hips. Right. And you see them preventing his inside knee position with the armpit and blocking his movement away from me by cupping the far hip. Good. Oh, Craig, so can you say that the person who is not very good on heel hook should be better for him to go on top and do this than staying like both sit up one to each side? For sure, yeah. I think if you say playing in the modern IPJJF rules and you're very concerned about these positions, you want to get out of this position, get back up, and pass, this would be the key to... Man, that's amazing. No, that's amazing. And uh, Craig, what about like, uh, if you don't come up, if both are sitting down, do you have any trick oh, sure. that looks like this one as well? Like For sure, so we got another grip, right? So basically, modern 50-50 is a battle for inside knee position. And if Placido can attain inside knee position, what he actually does is he clears his knee line. So I have my attacks on his hill are unlikely because his knee line uh -huh. is not floating in the hips. And if he gets here, he's free to attack my heel without risk of counterattack. So knowing that that's what people are looking for, we can take a scoop grip under his knee here. And now when Placido tries to attain inside knee position, very, very difficult. Man, amazing. And a lot of guys unlock their feet due to the confidence of their ability to get inside knee position. So if we combine the scoop grip and guys go to uh, get inside knee, they expose their Oh own man, that's how it is. That's how it is. Craig, how did you know of this? Like, well, it was like just being there and uh, yeah, but just getting heel hooked an awful lot. I got it. Had to come up with some solutions to obviously beat, them, beat my teammates. 
No, man, that's amazing. That's amazing. I had never seen that. And I think probably like most of the users, uh, it's pretty new. I, I never saw anybody doing anything like related to that. Like, at, uh, no, that's amazing. Yeah, guys, so Craig just shot this entire structure all about leg attacks and U hook escapes for no gi. I, as you guys are seeing, I think that's pretty new thing. And the, now that I GGF legalized uh, U hook, we're gonna see more and more attacks. So. I think that's gonna be one of our best instructors at bggfanatics.com and it's gonna be there very soon. So maybe by the time you're watching, it's already there. Thanks so much, Craig. That was amazing. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.